and New Zealand rugby. It's a lovely day in Omaru. North Otago are going to host Thames Valley. Thames Valley, the northernmost union in the Heartland Championship. North Otago just about the southernmost. Chris Rawson is our man. Joe, how have you found the uh, competition so far? Yeah, real good. We had a you know, good start last week, but not the result we wanted. But you know, this competition's good, rugby's good. Good brand of rugby you play over here, and I'm really enjoying it. So, Siona, you, you're just sort of getting into it and enjoying it? Yeah, it's been good. Uh, good to be back uh, here playing for uh, Nafutago because I've been in uh, Dunedin, and, uh, yeah, so it's good to be home, eh? Yep. Real good. What about the uh, the accent? Obviously not a genuine North Otago, but enjoy being here? Yeah, real good, yeah. No, everyone's real welcoming. Same, a lot of the same back to, as back home, you know, in England. Rugby community, anywhere you go, always welcoming. Always show you the ropes, always look after you, so it's real good. Really enjoy my time. Hey, go hard, boys. Good luck. Hey, cheers. Thank, Thank you very much. Cheers. This is Thames Valley in a changed jersey because there is quite a substantial clash of colours between the two unions, so a little bit of a retro for Thames Valley, back to a pale blue, but it's the attacking team, uh, North Otago. Man there behind the referee's back was not back 10 metres, but I think the ref got a call because he's playing an advantage, but they may not need it. North Otago, they went very, very close there through Tucker. Now, scrabbling away with the ball comes Masoy, the very experienced Lemmy Masoy. And he's got all the way to the line. No, it wasn't Masoy, it was somebody else standing up with the ball, Ralph Darling. Darling gets the opening try of the day. He had a hand in it very early in the piece. I thought Tucker was going to score there. He's the skip, Ralph Darling, distinctive figure, big influence. Iconic man in North Otago, and gee, they can off to a fast start again. And the thing about when you take on Ralph Darling, who loves KFC, and hey, let's be honest, you can hear who him doesn't? Laughing. <laughs> the thing about North Otago, they can play such a variety of styles, can't they? They'll go wide and they'll attack wide, but the pick and drive. Oh, that's nice. That's a lovely pass. The pass came from Doak, and the try was scored by Johnny Toruki Chambers who's the lone player and he's already proving to be quite dominant in this Thames Valley team. Nice pass, this. Off the tail of the line out too, but there's a, the ball down to the halfback, which actually pushed him about 20 metres out into the midfield. That then condenses and brings in the North Otago defence. Good line as well. Good off the back of the line out there from Belsham. He made quite a bit of ground and has got his team on the front foot. And here comes Casey. Casey on the run looks out wider and there's plenty of them out there. Tucker, who's had a very good game so far, inside to Marsoi. Marsoi all the way into the corner. Lemmy well. Marsoi backing up, supporting, but really was. A little first receiver up off the tail of the line out, which is good. How did he get this ball away here? I think Marsoi might have overrun it initially, was it? Yeah, mate, he did. The Juicy 12 Marsoi overrun. The initial short ball stayed in support, which was good. Got the inside pass again and backing up. Actually, what he did was what you and I would have done. He's, he slowed down. Nothing wrong with running slowly now and again. See, this is going tip for tat, isn't he? Ralph Darling with the first try, then Thames Valley hit back. North Otago with the try now. Wish Thames Newski, Valley trying Wish to get Newski. back on. Yes. Try. Hayden Wisniewski, he's had the ball tucked away in the back of that mall for quite some time, and he wouldn't let it go. You watch him, number two, who threw the ball in. Here he comes. Last time down here, they went to the tail line out off the top. This time, the variation to the middle of the line out was the drive. People at the front working very hard. The hooker, as you do, around the tail, helped over by his mate. And gee, this has been an entertaining first half of football. Taruki Chambers, good player, this guy. Half-time comes with North Otago ahead by 22 points to 16. And that's only a try under the point-scoring system that we're using. And both teams think they're in pretty good shape. Well, unfortunately, their great opportunity there for Thames Valley blowing. Tail the line out. Big runaway here from Colin Nisau. They can't stop him. They couldn't catch him for a while there. Real speed for the big fella. Gee, that's a big moment, I reckon. This is going to be a huge moment in the game. Well, it's going to be massive if they don't stop Shea Tucker because Tucker's in the clear and he's laid off a very nice pass and we've gone 85, 90 metres and Shea, Josh Casey gets the try 
and it all comes from a simple overthrow at the back of the line out. Tim's Valley line has been working so well. I've scored oh, two so tries close. off it. One from the tail, one from the drive. This one, great opportunity. Five metres out, they're looking towards the tail, probably off the top again. And then the overthrow on the wet and forget replay. And then just the speed. And we know North Otago can do this. You counter attack the width that they can go through. The backing up from Casey's had a couple of good runs already in this game. There's underneath the sticks, and that six becomes eight pretty quickly. Front of the line out ball for Thames Valley. Good ball too. Wisniewski's got that tucked away in the back. They've already scored one try from the drive. They might fancy the chances here, although it's a fair way out. They've got the momentum though. They've got the drive on. Touchline coming, so the halfback will want to get the ball out of here, and he does. Hamilton. North Otago did well then. No. Try over. Try scored. Going in, the big number six, Rupeni Vakathengu. Oh, that's a good try. Big, strong forward pack, this. This is game on on the wet and forget replay. Time is nearly up, but this brings them to a, the eight points. That is a bonus point under the new point scoring system. The conversion to come within a range of a try. See their line out. Their set phase has worked so well. His Thames Valley important kick. And then we all look at the referee. Turuki's kick. No time. Thames Valley. Didn't quite make it. North Otago led all the way to win by 30 to 22. Ralphie, tough old game. Uh, definitely. Um, once again, we, we started with a uh, with a hiss and a roar, and um, they came back at us. Uh, and then we showed a bit of character at the end to get the win. But it was a, a tough game, and the, sure, and the score really showed how close it was. Of each and every one of them, and each and every one of them is different, and each and every one of them is one of those sort of moments you look at it, you read it, and you think, yeah, they're right, that's right, and you kind of think about it for a while while you're driving along the road. But please, keep your eye on the road, just have a quick glance at the main freight truck, perhaps when you're behind it at a traffic light. We'll be back next week with coverage of the Mitre 10 Heartland Championship on Main Freight Rugby.